Hi, I'm here today to talk to you about a brand new utility shovel. It's a brand new tool. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing the digger. Normally when you're into uh, utility trenching, any type of utilities, drainage, irrigation, everyone knows what these are, this is what you use. The good old trenching shovel. Ladies and gentlemen, the digger is the new tool on the block. It has not only trench clearing capabilities, it has other practical uses. Uh, I'll talk about that in a minute. So, uh, I, I, I'm an irrigation tech. Been doing it a long time. It's a large company I work for. Every time the same thing. You get the trencher, and you got spoils in the trench. You've got to get them out of there. Let alone drainage. Drainage is more important. You have to get it level, and you have to get it down to where you want, and you have to have a degree of bubble where you can exit the, the water you're collecting. The standard trenching utility shovel, lots of hard work, back-breaking activity, very little volume, and it ain't smooth. You have to go over it and over it. I worked for a construction manager that wouldn't get me out of that trench until it had to be exactly the way it wants it. He was a good man. This activity with the digger, you're outside of the trench. You're never in there. You pull. You don't push. Hey, if you had a chain, would you push it, or would you pull it somewhere where you wanted to go? You pop this into the trench, you pull your debris out. This thing holds five times as much as a trenching shelf, maybe more. And don't even go there with rocks, roots, and uh, mud. You can't do it. This is far beyond any trenching shovel ever used in a trench. This is the new tool. The digger. This is what you want on your truck. If you have a landscape company or construction company, big or small, you have to have one of these on your truck. My back's killing me at the end of a week before I got this. This is now on my truck. Always. The normal bending over and getting rid of the debris out of a trench, let alone if you hit a rock or a root, just jars you. You're out of the trench, and you're pulling with all of your weight, and you're standing in a very solid form. Let me talk about those other applications. This is the cleaner blade. You want that trench smooth. You want it level. This is it. Drainage, start at the low end. Work to the high end. Get your level. Everybody's happy, and it's quick. There's nobody who does it on time and material anymore. It's always one cost for your job, and you've got to make that cost. This is faster, more efficient, time wasted, and your employees will like you better. They're not bending at the waist and pulling the debris up. This blade is called the cleaner. Now, probably lost the other blade. Nope, there it is. Other applications. The cleaner blade. This is the ripper blade. Let's say you need a little more out of the bottom. you got roots. You've got rocks. The ripper blade, interchangeable, will rip it up. Then you get the cleaner blade back out and make sure it's as smooth as you want. A lot less hassle. Axe. Pick, shovel, no, 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 no. The digger. This will cut through hard pan. This is Oregon. We got nothing but hard pan here. You turn it over and you pull, and you will rip that hard pan completely out of there. Let me put it that way. The ripper blade. Both of these blades protect your investment. Tools aren't cheap. It's above where what you have paid for. It takes the brute. It takes all the punishment. This bucket will last even longer. 
ladies and gentlemen, to Digger. Now, I know talk's cheap, so I tell you what. Let's go out to a job site. And we're going to go to a job site that's installing about 500 foot of, uh, I think it's irrigation. The employee you see is a foreman who's never seen this, never used this bucket before. We're going to go out there. Oh, by the way, abuse. This is the bucket he used on the trench you're going to see. And I can still see the label on the side. Ladies and gentlemen, the digger, let's go out to that job site. Thank you. All right, here we are on the Nike campus in Beaverton. And as you can see, we just had to put about a 500-yard trench down. Our construction foreman, Armando, is demonstrating the bucket. Now, if you'll notice on the side here, we have a trench and shovel. Everybody's seen one of these. You get in the trench, and you go crazy. Well, if you notice here, this is what Armando's doing. He's cleaning the trench out. He doesn't have to get in the trench. And if you notice, he's not bending over like a normal shovel and pushing it. He is actually pulling the debris out of the trench. This trench is, I would say, 24 inches deep. And you can imagine how backbreaking it would be to do this with a trenching shovel. He also has, if I close up, if you notice when we trench, we got roots going through, which is understandable, trees are nearby. With a trenching shovel, your debris, trying to get it out of the trench, is all going to fall off and it's going to catch. The bucket, absolutely no problem. And he's using the scraper blade because we need this trench as smooth as possible. Pipe go in, you can't have ups and downs. I'm stepping back. There we are. There we are. What do you think, Armando? Oh, it's good. It's good? Yeah. Armando is a foreman of a construction company for a large landscape company in the Northwest. And he's demoing for the first time the bottom digger in an irrigation trench. And if you're in irrigation or construction, folks, you can imagine what this will do if the trench was for drainage, anything you had to have very, very smooth. And if you notice, it operates just like a small backhoe because you cannot get a backhoe in here because of the narrow trench. So ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, Welcome to the Bottom Digger.